All right, we're going to try a longer test here and see what happens after blistering and after we really get this thing going. Looks like now it's burning sort of on its own. Let's see if it continues. Nothing burning through or visible on the other side. Ooh, looks like it sort of extinguished itself a little bit. Hmm. That's kind of a good thing. Now let's see what happens if we continue the assault. Like maybe your candle fell over. I don't want to breathe that. Well, the good news is it's not just exploding into massive flames. The bad news is I would probably not want to be in the smoke from this. No. However, production yurts will include a smoke alarm, which would have gone off long ago in this scenario. Yep. Uh, well, it appears to me that the aluminum coating protects the polyiso underneath from just totally going up in flames because mm -hmm. if I light the polyiso, it's exposed, it immediately catches fire and wants to go up. So this basically keeps the oxygen away is my take on it. Yep. And you can cut. So.